Hello there, Pick Benedict here. We're playing Ninja Gaiden 2 on Master Ninja Difficulty. This is chapter 10 of 14 for my Tonfa Live Weapon Run. It is entitled The Temple of Shitters. So I've got, I do have some background noise on. Um, the last video is now finishing up, so the fan in my PC won't be uh, whirring as loud as it was before. It took two hours and 50 minutes to render the previous file. I just saw the, the time on it, and it's all complete now. To upload that, the same file that it made, it would probably take about an hour. It, it is lightning fast, the internet that I bought. Um, it's too fast, I'm going to have to complain. You know, I'm just kidding, of course, but it's, it's ridiculously fast. Okay. Um, Sony Vegas won't let me render with the GPU for some reason. It only lets me render with the CPU. If I try to render with the GPU, it, it has a fail message every time. It's something I've, I've been struggling with since 2012. And... Alongside that, I've also been struggling with these periodic black screens that occur on the videos. Um, um, usually that's remedied by closing out the file after you edit it, and then uh, you won't get black screens. But for some reason, I still get them sometimes, um, especially on this project. So I apologize if you see those to realize that um, I probably know about them, but no matter how I render it, like I'm always going to get these black screens on it. For instance, th they'll be in certain spots, and then I'll, I'll delete the file, re-render it, and then the one the, the areas where the black screens were before they won't be there, but then they'll be in different places. So there's there's really no way to to fix it, I don't think. So this is a uh, that dangerous gauntlet that I was speaking of a moment ago, guys. Um, the processor, that, the processor that I'm using, that I was mentioning, is the 6700K. Um, I've got it overclocked to about 4.2. I think it's as much as Dell permits with its BIOS settings. The motherboard, I think I've met, didn't I mention that at some point else? The, the BIOS settings really aren't the greatest, but I think it only lets you clock to 4.2 gigahertz uh, simply because, um, like, the fans wouldn't be able to handle it. Like, it would overheat. So, um, anyway, well, I'm not overheating. It, it's about 80 to 85 degrees inside the, uh, I like the temperature of the CPU, it's like 80 to 85, so it's, it's pretty good. Sometimes it's a, approaching 90. I would say actually most times it's like 85 to 88 and stuff like that, but rarely it's like 90, it's rarely, rarely that. And even if it was, it's not a big deal. Fantastic! It's the best processor I've ever owned. It's so great. Very easy to install too. Um, and I also took out the the HDD hard drive case that was in the in the machine when I bought it. So that's uh, a large obstructing piece of metal that I took out, and uh, we're getting better heat flow. Excuse me, better airflow and better heat dissipation all around. So we're actually pretty good. Is there a guy down there? Let's see if they'll come over here. This is really dangerous, this part here. Okay. Probably just Oh wow, what the fuck? See, like it's so dangerous. I was I didn't even see that coming at all. Like you never see it coming. Out of daggers, wonderful. They coming after me? Oh shit, they're coming. That's scary. Okay, he should charge me now, and I should have enough time to, to take care of him with a U with a the UT, yeah, excuse me. There we go. Cleaned him right up. And that pretty much unspawns a couple of other guys. If not unspawns them, then at least prevents them from spawning. Okay, let's buy what we need to here. Definitely need daggers. Um... Okay, 
Let's take out the final wave of blood gauges. I'm hoping I don't get mauled by them. There might be one guy. There's a chest down here, too, that might have. If there are any gold ones down there, they sometimes get on... I think that's what happens, though, on spawn when you go back to the store. So, and these guys also pincer you, too. You'll see one guy behind me, probably. You might wonder, how did you know to release? Just release as soon as it charges. That's the best advice I can ever give. They're usually hot on your heels. There's usually just enough time to... to release. Like, you never... usually, like... Are waiting to release it, it, you release it's always like it's at the last split second you're barely getting it off uh, these guys can't be flower garland throat either yeah they're so fucking dangerous hardest enemy in the game more yeah they're way down there they might even cut me off see they burrow themselves underground and they cut you off sometimes gotta be careful what I hate is what just happened, actually. You saw that. I released a charge and they jumped over me. These motherfuckers. Do I have any daggers? Yeah, I bought them. Yeah. I hate that. You waste your charge. You open yourself up to vulnerability. You motherfuckers, give me some essence. Some red essence. Yeah, fuck yourselves. Any more? Oh, shit. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. This is pretty scary, actually. <laughs> oh, I've seen that kind of shit before. I've definitely seen that. I've played this game so many times I've seen that before. He's in a loop. Is he dead? Oh, shit. Come on. Shit. Come on, Ryu. Get your ass up there. Is there more than one? Holy oh, shit. He blocked it. I hate when they block it. That's probably it. Let's finish. Let's put our daggers in here. This, you guys still want me to buy these stupid things, right? The flying bird technique and all that, huh? Think I'm going to waste my money on that garbage? So we're sitting we're sitting pretty good with that. The big problem is that we've got a damn tough boss. And even worse almost is that there's a gauntlet after her too. So if you don't do well, you're you know, even though you beat her, you're you might be uh, in trouble for the next chapter, which has probably the hardest gauntlet in the game. Probably it is. There's no question. That's probably 5,000. This is the life of the gods. Oh, it's fish? Okay. I don't know. I think I just want to maybe see if they'll give me some red essence. Thank you very much. They gave me two. I'm a little mad at that, actually. I don't need more than one. Everything about that pisses me off. It, it, just, it should be more adaptive. Okay, so anyway, this is really hard. Ooh, that was... I don't even know about that, guys. That was... Shit, man. I do know that the wind blaze is pretty damn good here. Come on, would you fucking OT him? Like, what is this? Does the Y button not work? Grind... Do not grind for money here, guys. This is your this is your session at stake. Don't don't even try to get greedy at all. Just absorb the essence. Expedite your charges. Not not absorb it. You know what I mean? Just expedite your charges. Don't absorb the essence. I would not, I would like to not use any healing items here and then save some money that way. Took him down. What's this guy do? Oh, there's more over there. What about... Oh, why, why, why am I not throwing daggers? Oh, maybe that's why. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. There is a grains coming up, too, so we can... 
we can replace what we just used there. Jesus, look at this. Motherfucker. I canceled out his... Whatever he was doing, I canceled it out with the dagger. The wind path off your head, buddy. I'm not comfortable using all this nympho, though. Okay. Fuck Denji's notebook. You think I want that shit? Honestly, like, do you really think I want that? Why don't you put an item there? Jesus. Okay, let's go to the next part here. I'm gonna be avoiding this fight. And, uh, the next fight's mandatory, and then the fight after that has the veneer of, of being mandatory, but it isn't. So we'll avoid it as well. Uh, this here, actually, we need to do that to put that in there. This is working out perfectly because I need grains and that, so that'll be perfect. But we'll let these guys come all the way over here because when we get to the save statue, we don't want them anywhere near us to interrupt us from saving it. What the fuck is it? Hear that? That's my phone vibrating on the desk. So if we, if we do this, this here, this little dash jump, we should be able to avoid them from catching up and I'm not going to stop to look back here just because that will slow slow things down. Devil Way Mushroom. I'm not sure if I should put that in. now. Uh, these next fights are shit too. It's just really garbage. But in what world would three of those guys be appropriate? It's ridiculous. The sin of this next part is that it's incredibly boring. It's difficult, undoubtedly, but it's also boring. And that what makes it even worse in my opinion, so I don't even know if the void really does anything good here. I mean, it could help, I guess, but I don't know if I want to use the Nympho. It couldn't hurt. Just to speed this shit up. I mean, they put daggers here, but these guys take... I don't know, it, it seems like it takes like 20 daggers or more on them to kill these guys. I use the fucking void. I use the void. I don't. I don't understand this game. They're worth thirty-five hundred a piece, but they're not even worth trying to get that much on. This weapon is just not good on them either. You want to use the side of the lunar or something? Not this. See, missed. Completely missed. You can try to charge the shuriken if you like. However, you might get interrupted and take massive damage. I don't even know how good it is either. And also, yeah. yeah. It's just so stupid. It makes you hate the game. Because it's so boring. And as you can see, we're taking passive damage from just being in this acid pool down here. I'm not sure how that no damage guy did this part. Maybe he just decided to ignore it. Ignore the damage. Maybe he used the scythe to do charges. I don't know. I knew that would miss. I think more bugs spawn. Every time you kill one of these things, I think you'll have more bugs coming in. You can throw daggers at them and they might give you health or something. At the bare minimum, they'll give you something to charge off of. To quickly expedite a charge. You know, these guys, so they don't do anything to you. Hopefully. Okay, that should be... I'm going to make sure we see how much that is. There's before. And there's after. That should be 3,500. If it's not, I would be very surprised.
Yeah, just come right under me. They can hit you easily from here too. Interesting how the sub weapons, their charges have no iframes on them. With this, these shuriken or the windmill shuriken. And I don't think arrows do anything either, so sniping them from back there might not be anything you want to try. Stupid shitty part. We killed them with an ET. Okay, whatever. Yeah, just whatever. Just, just get this shit wrapped up. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Wasn't there a piece of blue essence right there? Why did it take so long to, to charge? That shouldn't kill me. Bullshit. These two items down here, man. Look at the lag. Why is there lag? Okay, I think I hear somebody dying. And then after this, they want you to fight like five of them or more. It's just like, fuck you. They go in and participate in that fucking garbage. So in Sigma 2, they, they cleaned up a low. Oh, thank you very much. They, they cleaned up a lot of this bullshit, but in so doing, they, they really watered the experience down, in my opinion. It just like, I, I don't think I would ever want to play that game again. It's got some pretty cool bosses. I like the Marpus fight. It's really fun with Ryu. Like, they should have definitely included... I don't know why they didn't include this guy. That guy. In, okay, are we done? Are we fucking done? Because if we are, we'll put the arrows on and then we'll get out of here. Good. And I'll show you how to skip the next fight. Very simple. Of course, we're going to grind for money on the bugs. This might take a while, so I do apologize. Feel free to move the video, uh, the slider, to any part you like. You know, so if, if this doesn't interest you, I, I don't imagine how it could. Just feel free to skip it. I'm just going to play the way I need to right now to get, to get all my cash. I wonder if these guys were spawned during that fight, and maybe they had any, any influence on the frame rate. Because it's definitely affecting my ability to to decide when I need to release that charge to draw the essence over to me. And you could say to yourself, well, it might be smarter to use the daggers on these guys and go for drops. Maybe it is. I don't know. I just kind of like sniping them up here. It kind of gives me a sense of uh, relief just to prey on these little shitty bugs down here. So after this we can actually get to some fun stuff. The staircase fight's really fun. Although it's laden with lag. We can kill three at once. Uh, did we? I haven't accidentally charged the essence either, so that's pretty good. Usually I mistakenly do that. So we'll see if I can not do that at any time and see how much money we can get from these, these guys. And that's a pretty good accomplishment too, considering this lag. Okay, we messed up. It was inevitable. Okay. Now let's jump on down here. Hopefully there aren't any more of these guys hiding anywhere. Okay, no. This is a, um, a static chest always containing blue essence. I'm almost positive. If not, I could be wrong. So, did I get that crystal skull up there? I I'm missing one, so I want to make sure. You, can see you should be able to see it from down here, yeah. 
we'll see you on the way back. Okay, so this part, just spawn those guys and come all the way back here. And when we, um, what's, what is this? How do I get over here? Okay, so we're gonna go back the way we were. Pick up some daggers. Not even the wind run gives you any iframes from that. Okay, so I'm gonna include this in the video, so we're gonna come up here, save our progress, quickly quit out. Look how fast it takes to, to load this, this. Okay, then we, when we come back there, those things will be gone. But bugs, more bugs, and I think some more death worms in here, yeah. So you can keep doing that fight for all eternity if you like. Okay. And then I've never understood about this chest. I understand maybe they're just doing it for fun, but that's kind of a tease. Okay, we'll come down here and save our progress, and then we're gonna go to this cutscene here and we'll see what's going on over here. Okay guys, I think I unspawned all these flyers over here. So if you don't see any of these bats over here. You okay, Felipe? Just making sure my dog's okay back there, guys. Um, okay, so we got that skull over there. I think it's good that we unspawn the bats. Um, so let's head on down here and see what we can get out from here. It's a thousand. And um, should have some, some of these guys coming. I just charge off these guys. These guys can just go to fucking hell. More of them. Concentrate for a sec here, guys. I've got him. Wow, it takes two as drops, huh? That health? I'll take the health. Definitely take dead health. Motherfucker, that's like they're a little out to get out of that Azuna drop. Thought you bitches were a scared, a, were a scared to go over here is what I was gonna say, guys. They are. Look, they're scared to come over here. Don't hit me with the projectile, though. That wouldn't be good. What are you aiming at? Is there another one? Yeah. That wind run took us right over there. Wow, a UT only delimbed. Not sure where she's headed, but she's dead and that should signify the end of the wave. Let's get the blood off our weapon. And, uh, and just uh, prepare for another. I think there's another onslaught. And I'm wondering if I can just hold the Y button down now and charge an attack and see if I can get away with it. Well, we got away with the UT. It's better than nothing. Wow, I almost, I almost got grabbed there. So I guess this is your punish. Uh, you might say it's your punishment for getting the the jewel of the demon seal. It's one of many punishments in this game. Okay, so let's let's use this. Um, 
What do we have here? The Inferno's at level 2, Windblade's at level... Th oh, the Windblade's is already at level... Okay, so we've... Now we have every every Nympho up to level 3, save for the Flame Phoenix, which I, um, I won't be upgrading because we've already missed one of the jewels of the Demon Seal. I think the next jewel is on... Um, we might have already passed it. There's some arrows here. What I usually do is I, I toss daggers at this little mob down here first. They spawn before you even jump down. No, 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 no. It would be nice to try to go for some uh, some drops here, but I don't really think drops are necessary. Um, there's a test of Fowler coming up, and it has a bunch of fish that you can get some drops from, probably. Almost definitely, I would say. Jump down. Oh, the Gary Dick's back. The Gary Dick's. Oh, we got a drop already. That was good. It's the way they raised their cannons that instantly reminded me of Gary, my my old neighbor. Just instantly. Like, yeah, that's Gary. That is Gary. See if we can get another drop here. We did. Yeah, we're maxed out now. Now we can snipe. Actually, what, what am I thinking? The, the windmill shuriken is the way to go here, isn't it? Wow. We, we got some damage on us. You fucker, you hit me through the fucking wall. What was that? Must have been more essence. Red essence. I need to heal myself. Good. I was hoping that would reach him. He was pretty far away, but... Any more coming up? There's... There's Quizetical. I'm just gonna call him... Oh, another... Gary Dick! What are you doing, Gary Dick? Got one. I knew there was more spawning behind. Well, look at that. Two. Two guys killed. So if you wind path off, off of them, you're guaranteed to get a, a charge. A, a UT. Just guaranteed. They can't recover in time for you to, uh, to not get your charge off. Unless maybe you missed your on landing. How did that miss him? See, what I sometimes I actually try to move the camera with the right analog stick, the way it was in Ninja Guide Black. Really inconvenient. Really old school. Look at that, it just it man. Don't ever sleep on this weapon for these Gary Dick fuckers, guys. I wonder how it works with the Van Gelfs. Because anything that could kill an enemy with one UT is, is good because sometimes the arrows take two UTs. Are they coming? Oh, they're these guys here. Fuck. I don't like these. I don't like these guys so close to me. But if they give me some blue health, I'll be, uh, I'll be grateful. We got some more Gary Dicks coming up too, if I, if I remember. In fact, I know for a certain, for first, first, for a certain. Sorry, why do I say that? Oh shit, you bitches! I don't need that. Do you think I need that? I don't want to trade with it either. Goddamn game, guys. Sometimes I just I, I question it. Let's try the windmill shuriken first. We might be able to do this a little bit faster. So. They all come. Remember, this enemy cannot suffer to be looked at. Are they making good progress? Yeah, they're pretty slow. Actually, I mean, they're not slow, but... Wow. 
Damn. Much faster. I wonder if we have to... Sometimes, uh... No, it's okay. We don't even have to look at the camera. Here comes the next mob. Is this the last mob? See, we should be able to see them coming up right here, right in front of us. Yeah, they all come. Get the shitty asses right there. Slaughtered. Another mob? Yep, one more mob. Man, this wind blade is, is ridiculous, or whatever it is, this windmill shuriken. No wonder they give it to you late in the game. He blocked. That's the only thing I don't like about Oh, wait, he's breathing fire too? Slaughtered. No more mobs. We should be okay. I mean, it would suck to get killed over here, though. But they kind of tease you here. They they say, "Oh, there's the save point. It's gonna dim, though." There's the Gary Dix. Nice. It just completely cuts them in half. Very fast, very, very effective. Wow, this thing just is a butchering tool, man. Just like the Tonfa. How much money do I have? Almost 400k, guys. I bet the next Gary Dick's over to the left. Ooh, he blocked. Bitch blocked. Bitch blocked. But he got his in the end. He got his in the end. I'm not going to do the Test of Valor. It's an overall thankless experience. 400k. I don't think I've ever had that much essence in this game. And I have not grinded for money at all. I've redone sections to do better, to use less items, but... Look at that, they killed two of those guys. Whoa, I mean that is damn, damn effective. Okay, so we do have a Quizetical boss fight coming up, mid-level boss. And uh, I guess since we're, we're, we're calling some enemies Gary Dix for Christ's sakes, I think it's okay that we call Quizetical whatever his name is because I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't even care. It's just one of those d disturbingly weird words. Failed as in a drop. Got my health back. Hopefully this guy can give me some health, or I might have to redo this. Set. How am I failing these Unidrop? I'm failing the guys Unidrop, left and right. Wow. Just wow. Alright guys, time to move on to the next section. If I, missed, if I remember correctly, I forgot to pick this up in the last clip, so I apologize about that. There is a grains over here to pick up. Um, ironically, on this staircase fight, I hardly ever die to IS ninjas. I always die to the grabs of the of the gray ninja. So we're gonna take care of this trio of Gary Dicks over here. Go. And then this chest over here. 
in the past it would always crash my game for some reason, but yes. Thank you. So on Quizetical, or whatever the hell his name is, there's always the temptation to avoid him, but you're going to have to content yourself after that with less Nimpo. I mean, that's what I'm thinking here for my own campaign. So we're going to avoid these stupid things over here, pick up the lives of a thousand gods, and probably just use arrows on them. I'm going to use that for the thumbnail, probably. Okay. I like how it is on this version because in Sigma 2 you would only be able to hit, hit him at certain times and it was extremely frustrating because you could only hit him like at about this point or here before he, he would hit his fireball and afterwards of course you could hit him too but then when he, whenever he would take flight like at about right now you wouldn't be able to hit him but see we can hit him it's really stupid too and I think you had to use a Howling Cannon I'm not sure but Maybe the arrows didn't do too much damage. I can't remember. Howling Cannon is just, Howling Cannon is fucking stupid though. It's ridiculous that. Oh god, I don't even want to talk about that stupid weapon. Okay, two more hits. One more, one more UT? No, probably not. No need to get greedy. Okay, we got him. That was exactly what we needed, actually. So we'll go over here and get this course's item right here. After we pick up the bone relief. And these guys, you can tell they were overindulgent on this part because they put an ocean of enemies when they should have just content themselves with the river, so to speak. There we go. Okay. I always get a charge off here, fortunately, but then but what I like about the IS Ninja here is that he only has a presence at the beginning of the fight, so you don't have to worry about him later. I'm not sure what happened there. I guess I parried him. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Really fun fight. Unfortunately, the way they put too many enemies over here will affect the frame rate. And also, on landing charges are difficult for me personally because of the slanted nature of these stairs. Man, come on! It's, see how long it takes. That would have been were it not for the the way that the essence has of slowly, slowly staggering. Would have definitely got a charge off. A UT there. See, once the IS Ninja are gone, then we can relax a little bit. But these still, these guys are still assholes about the grabbing. So the Wind Blades at level three here just murders, absolutely murders. Two drops right there. Think I'm gonna take that damage? You're crazy. These guys are exempt from it, huh? Wow. It's funny to see them all fall at the same time. Ah, almost got that UT to go. Yes. Okay, it looks like those Ice Ninja are still up there, so I gotta watch out for those guys. Always keep my health full. Nice. Can't believe I'm getting away with these. Oh, that guy's delimbed, huh? Okay. Delimbed and gunning for me, apparently. Oh, that's cheap. I got hit a little bit before that UT, I think. Got 
tell you where that IS Ninja is bothering me. Fortunately, it's like who can press Y first? You know, if they if. I'm kind of sick of dying here. It's kind of. Motherfucker, come on, get off my dick, man. Okay, they're all delimbed. Okay. Whoa, he's not delimbed. I'm sorry. What am I apologizing for? Jesus. Anybody else coming? It's just these guys. Okay. Is I gonna get them? What? Wow, that's dangerous, man. That's really dangerous. Okay, that's, I think that's like the first wave, if you want to consider it the first wave. Okay, and then before we get up here, there's going to be like a trickle spawn here with just like one guy coming out. Believe me, I've just done this a couple times. It's always the Grey Ninja that kill you. I'll try to capitalize on him the first though. They're fast too, they really are. That would suck. That sucked, man. I thought I was going to parry him. God, I hate that hand holding shit. <laughs> Guys, D Lamb, just quickly get them out of the way. You never know what they're gonna do. I mean, exactly, you know exactly what they're gonna do. You know exactly what they're gonna do. Face down on the fucking floor. And those are hard to get. Need a little health. Maybe they can give us some drops here. More guys coming? I think I see more guys. The more the better, actually, because I want to see if I get some drops from these guys. Yeah, more guys are coming. We got our health regenerated. I knew you were going to do that. I knew it. Glad I got that. I'm really glad I got that. He's going to do it too. Well, he did something that I parried. I don't know. I don't know what he did. There we go. We've used quite a lot of items here. How many? At least I haven't used the other uh, mushrooms. What is that? A random bat flies by. <laughs> I wonder if that could hit you. Look at these guys. Just Where are they coming from, man? I just love the overkill of the Tonfa. It's just really cool. Oh... We need some health here. 
I'm not using any more items either. I want some health now. Look at that head rolling. <laughs> it stopped. This is the this is the part I absolutely love. Look at this. There's a guy hiding behind here. <laughs> Here comes the ocean. I think this is where the ocean of enemies come. I might even have to put some Nympho on. Look, this is going to get really slow here. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Gee, look at this shit. That's just, you can't even fight that many. Oh my god, look at that, look at the bodies, look at the bodies. All falling at the same time. I'm gonna take that health actually. Actually, do we need it? No, we don't need it. There we go. He did exactly what I needed him to. He turned around and focused on the other one. The whole the whole sea, the whole mob is gone. Is there somebody down there? Nope. All taken care of. Tough. It's pretty tough, especially with that input lag. Anyway, hopefully this this doesn't crash our game up here. No. Anyway, that's that's a done deal. Done deal. Elizabeth's coming. I'm worried. I'm actually really worried. So let's head on down here and go ahead and save our game. Okay, I'm kind of kind of getting sick of this part. It's pretty obnoxious. Do you remember that part right before Gigafuck in Chapter Three when we faced the uh, the purple Van Gels and the gold ones at the same time? Similar situation here. Um, they greet you as soon as you open the door. And even though I I frown on skipping fights. I, I did want to note that I think you can skip this fight as well as the staircase fight. It's completely skippable, so if you're not inclined to do it, um, it is an optional fight. But I like to clear these enemies here so I can get the items in peace. Daggers seem to work pretty well here. I don't know how the Elizabeth fight is going to go, honestly. I've never, I've never switched to this weapon during the fight to, to face her with it. I've never even tried to use it on her so it could whoops I don't want to go up there it could be something that goes pretty well it could be a nightmare that lasts forever I don't know I'm hoping it's not the latter but it could be yeah I really do not like this it's just oh, a little bit of overkill right before a hard boss fight you can go up here if you like. Did I get anybody? No, nah, it just doesn't really work. I've killed a couple people like this, but not many. Nah, it doesn't work really well. Clear this whole this whole mob and just get it finished. There we go. It's just kind of dull, in my opinion. 
fuck. I was trying to parry, guys. That should be parryable. Bullshit. We took some hefty damage there, too. Look at that. Any more? Let's go see what we can pick up from these items down here. I can't remember what's what. I think it's a grains and nimpo orbs. I know it's nimpo. I know that's nimpo. Oh, that's the grains. Okay, my bad. That's the nimpo. I think the inferno is the appropriate nimpo here. Um, I'm gonna use. Well, I don't know. I, I just don't know yet. We definitely need to put the talisman on. We're gonna need to buy daggers for the next stage, and we'll we'll, we'll want to make sure that we have enough arrows for the next stage as well. Okay, so that should be good. So we'll go down here now, and we will take on the boss of the 10th chapter. Really tough uh, boss fight with uh, Elizabeth. It's confirmed, guys, this is the worst weapon for this boss. And uh, that means it's incredibly difficult. Fuck you, cunt. I don't care. I don't care what I say anymore. I don't care. That's actually kind of rare to get that to, to hit her so often like that. Um, I'm going to have to hit her out of the air. I don't know what else to do here. You definitely add insult to injury when she heals, though, with that move. <sighs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Look, he doesn't even look at her. He's too busy looking in the opposite direction. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut her out of the air. I don't know what else to do here. I think we're up to about nine hours in this boss now. Nimpo canceling here is the order of the day. I mean, she has so many iframes, you can barely hit her. You can barely fucking hit her. Look at the ca- I don't, I don't understand it. He doesn't look at her, like... Oh god, this is so fucking hard. It's incredible. Have I used that tal- I can't even tell if I've used the talisman. I knew I- okay, I thought I hadn't used it. I think you can parry that. I, I don't know what I've been doing. It's so hard just to hit her. Such shit. It's just, it's so awful. Nine hours. Yeah, one o'clock. Nine, almost, probably ten hours pretty soon. On this shit. Let me out of there. Okay. Do the 360 Y, motherfucker. Wow. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm not using any more of that, though. Un unbelievable. Okay. I only have two more of those. I'd like to have some more. So scared.
No more. No more Nympho. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Fucking bitch. She's so fast. These 360 Ys, I can't believe I'm getting them to work. They hardly ever work. Okay, we've got to really be careful. Like, you want to always be topped off here. She kills you so fucking fast. If I could just get her, like, hit out of the air one time, I might be able to kill her. This is ridiculous. Like, this is so fucking absurdly hard. Uh, this is the shittiest weapon, too. So if you want the hardest time um, on this boss, you you'll select the Tonfa. There's just no question about it. How am I going to do the next gauntlet, you ask? Well, I'm just going to skip it. Yep, three's a limit on that. I've checked about five times. You can only do it three times. The fourth time, she... See, if I could kill her with two items, I might be able to do the gauntlet on the next stage. Um, so if I can just go up in the air, and uh, I can hit you out of the air... Holy shit, guys. I haven't even used the talisman? Wow! Okay, yeah, she's dead. She's dead. I didn't know I hadn't used it. I thought I used it. This fucking cunt. I'm sorry, I don't even care what I say. I don't care what I say anymore, guys. This is too hard. It's sickening. Damn it, this is so fucking hard. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's unfucking real, man. I can't believe it. I, I can't, I'm shocked. No items? I don't have any items. We'll just skip the fight in the next chapter. Fuck, I don't give a shit. I, I don't care. That is ridiculous.